And it took crews from four different fire departments to battle an early morning house fire in Vermilion. When the flames were out, those crews made a sad discovery. A horrible story. A man was killed in that fire, and our Dave Arnold spent the day in Vermilion learning about him from his neighbors. Neighbors say a fire ripped through this home at 5.30 this morning. Volunteer fire crews were quickly on the scene. A lot of fire, so it was a defensive attack at first. Vermilion Fire Chief Chris Stempowski told me his city fire crews received help from Amherst, Vermilion Township, and Florence departments, but it was too late for the man inside. By the time they got the flames under control, 62-year-old Donnie Bias was found in what is believed to be his bedroom. Unfortunately, the results... Uh were what they were. Johnny has basically lived on this street most of his life. Family and friends hugged as they watched fire crews and inspectors pick through the scene looking for answers. Patty Cantor told me Donnie would sit on his beloved swing out front for hours just to watch the world go by. If your lawn needed help, he was there for you. He would always go down and mow yards and um, he come around the corner, he would always be there sitting in a chair, waving at you. Family members told me Bias had lived there for six years, but he made an impact on lives like Tim March's family at his last residence. Met my daughter, and he was the one, most wonderful guy to her. Every time he'd go to the dollar store, he'd come home with a snack or a toy or something for her. Neighbors also told me he had befriended and adopted a feral cat that lived in this nearby culvert. I'm told it was seen this morning, safe and sound. But Donnie will be missed. It was very sad loss for the family and him and, and very heartbreaking. The state fire marshals told me the Lucas County coroner is handling the autopsy. Donnie Bias was just about to celebrate his 63rd birthday. In Vermilion, Dave Arnold, News Channel 5.